the public to help locate a missing 19-year-old man from Adelaide, Scott John Redman, amid great fears for his wellbeing. At about 3.50pm on Saturday the 21st of April, police were involved in a short pursuit with a black SUV station wagon on the Air Highway near Kimber. It is believed Scott Redman was an occupant of the vehicle with another man. After police terminated the pursuit, it is believed the vehicle turned off the Air Highway onto a dirt road. Two days later, about 8pm on Monday the 23rd of April, police located and arrested the second man from the vehicle in Wyala. Police believe he hitchhiked to Wyala from the Middleback Range. On Wednesday the 25th of April, police located the black SUV station wagon involved in the pursuit on the old Kimber to Wyala Road at Secret Rocks, about 40 kilometres east of Kimber. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Yep. Um, extensive inquiries conducted since Saturday the 21st of April have failed to locate Mr Redman. Mr Redman was wanted by police, but the overriding concern at this time is for his welfare. I really want to emphasise that. The overriding concern is for his welfare. The area in which we have been searching is rural and isolated. It is possible that Mr Redman has also caught a lift with someone, but we have no evidence of that at this time. Mr Redman's family, friends and acquaintances have not heard from him, and we're appealing for him to make contact with authorities. Mr Redman is described as being of Caucasian appearance, 178 centimetres tall, slim build with blonde hair, blue eyes and tattoos on his arms. Anyone with information is asked to please call uh, the Fankersate, sorry, I'll start that again. Anyone who sees Mr Redman has, prov has provided him with any assistance or has information on his whereabouts is urged to call the police assistance line immediately on 131444 or alternatively, police um, can be contacted by Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 um, A major crime involved in this? It in terms of this investigation, is it major crime that involved? Uh, ma major crime have been involved in a consultancy sense, um, as have uh, our star group. What's that, what are the search plans for this weekend? Are you planning a search and what areas will you be targeting? The, the uh, operation is in its investigation phase. We have uh, carried out searches already uh, in the area around Kimber. Uh, but at this stage, given the um, size of the possible search location, given that he could be in South Australia, he might be out of South Australia, he might be near Kimber, um, for that reason, we're in the investigation phase at this point. You say you continue to hold grave fears for his well-being. You suspect him foul play, or in terms of what are those grave fears? We're keeping an open mind. Um, we are holding fears for uh, for him because we haven't heard from him for so long. Um, so all we'd ask is Scott, if you're listening to this, please contact police, contact friends, let people know that you're okay. The man who you arrested that was supposedly in the car with him, has he been on any assistance to this investigation? Uh, police have spoken to that man. Um, he has provided the information and we're investigating that. Um, so you can definitely confirm that the car that you, that was used in the chase has been found and it's definitely that car? Uh, yes, the car is known to us by registration number and we have found that car. Um, good question. What makes you so concerned about it? Is it just the, the timing, the, the fact that it's been a while since He's actually contacted anyone? Is that what's concerning you the most? That's, that, that's correct. I mean, the reality is Scott um, doesn't want to necessarily be found, but we've been monitoring things like social media and other, other um, sources of information. We haven't heard from him for, for quite some time, and that's why we are concerned. Is that also the conditions of the area where he may be in terms of being dry and, and far from, I suppose, any nearby towns? Um, absolutely. Uh, if he was in Kimber, um, that is a, obviously a rural, uh, quite isolated area. Um, water sources um, can be uh, far, uh, hard to come by, um, but that's assuming he was in Kimber and he might not be. And just finally, it must be, is it the frustrating thing, the fact of how vast the country is and you know, how long it's been that you could be anywhere? Is that another thing that's concerning there? It's, it's certainly one of the reasons why we have um, stepped things up and that's why we're appealing to the community. If you have any information at all, if you've been in contact with uh, Scott, uh, or you know where he might be, please call us. Should the public be concerned if they do see this man? Is he dangerous? Uh, he's, he's not dangerous, no. So again, but it's but probably best still not to approach him and just contact police, I'm guessing is the way to go. Please, please leave it for us and just call uh, police uh, and we will um, um, make an approach. I'm happy. I'm happy, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Mark, if I could just get a shot of you just walk.